enlarged lymph nodes in the right iliac fossa RIF, can be a concerning finding in an eight-year-old child. This condition often arises from a variety of causes, each requiring careful consideration. One of the most frequently encountered causes is mesenteric lymphadenitis, which commonly occurs in children due to viral or bacterial infections. A child may present with abdominal pain that mimics appendicitis, necessitating thorough evaluation to ensure an accurate diagnosis. In addition to mesenteric lymphadenitis, acute appendicitis can also result in enlarged lymph nodes due to a secondary inflammatory response. Gastroenteritis, particularly due to pathogens like rotavirus or campylobacter, can lead to regional lymphadenopathy as well. In endemic areas, abdominal tuberculosis may manifest with lymphadenopathy, highlighting the importance of considering infectious causes in a child's history. Parasitic infections, including amoebiasis and giardiasis, as well as cat scratch disease caused by Bartonella hensilae, further diversify the list of potential infectious causes. Beyond infections, inflammatory and autoimmune conditions should also be taken into account. Crohn's disease may present with regional lymphadenopathy alongside bowel wall thickening, while Kawasaki disease, a multi-system vasculitis, can exhibit lymphadenopathy as part of its clinical picture. Additionally, Henox schönlein purpura, characterized by abdominal pain, may involve mesenteric lymph nodes, necessitating careful monitoring. Neoplastic causes, although less common, are crucial to rule out, particularly in persistent cases. Both Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphomas are known for causing abdominal lymphadenopathy. Leukemia can present diffusely with lymphadenopathy, including the RIF, while neuroblastoma, a retroperitoneal tumor, may also involve mesenteric lymph nodes. In cases of reactive lymphadenopathy, a post-infectious or nonspecific reaction often follows mild viral illnesses, posing fewer risks. Miscellaneous causes like intussusception can lead to reactive lymphadenopathy in the RIF, while systemic diseases like sarcoidosis, though rare in children, should also be accounted for. To approach diagnosis effectively, the ultrasound features of the lymph nodes offer critical insights. Benign or reactive nodes typically appear oval-shaped and hypoechoic with a central echogenic hilum, whereas malignant nodes exhibit irregular borders, loss of hilum, and heterogeneous echo texture. Symptoms such as fever, abdominal pain, and weight loss can correlate with these findings. Comprehensive diagnostic strategies include blood tests for inflammatory markers and imaging studies like CT or MRI for localization. Suspicious cases may warrant lymph node biopsy or fine needle aspiration to clarify the nature of the enlargement. Ultimately, the most commonly seen cause in this age group remains mesenteric lymphadenitis, emphasizing the need to differentiate it from more serious conditions like appendicitis, malignancy, or tuberculosis.